Charing Cross tube station on wet Wednesday night. She stands on the pavement with her life on the street, smart in her overcoat and sheltering from the rain, photograph in her pocket and suitcase at her feet. Alone once more in all but appearance, the city smells of isolation as the water hits the concrete. In this underground life, she fights to keep her head above the surface, but her demeanour is polished and her manner is discreet. Taxi turns the corner and heads to where she stood, headlights so white against the dark black backdrop. Emotions invade her mindset like a stealthy assassin. She's undecided whether or not she wants it to stop. Silver litter in the gutter glistens in the dark while she contemplates the parts of life she'd happily swap. Light ahead in the tunnel offers a glimpse of redemption as she stares across the square to the boarded up shop. Serenity of ignorance is what her mind now demands. Images of Eleanor's funeral whirl around in her head. One long procession to mark out her own existence. Thoughts that repetitiveness could lead to her own death. No memorial or monument to commemorate her life. No sign of the blood spilt and the tears that were shed. For all of her achievements and all of her humanity, her roles in life could quickly vanish, and that fills her with dread. The surroundings of the metropolis serve her no justice at all. Beauty rarely exists amongst the carbuncle creations. Negatives and refusals scatter throughout her life, which have brought her to this point, waiting at this location. Charing Cross is the start of every journey she has embarked on, but for all her excursions, it's always her destination. Life in perpetual cycles, trying to escape the northern line of life returning her to the same old station.